Hi everyone and welcome back. So in the last video we introduced Redux with our application. Now in this video we are going to do some changes with our context provider. Okay, which is actually subscribing to the state of auth0. I mean Firebase auth and then it is giving us the token and all these things will happen. Okay, so this is our provider. What we are doing with this provider is we are actually getting the user data. So uh, this is the class based rest of my components are functional so i don't like this approach what i will do is i will try to convert this into a functional component okay and also we will get the token from the user auth state okay so what we will do is uh, let's convert into this const auth provider uh, converting a class based component to a functional is simple we need to create an anonymous function it is taking props and it is now here if you want to have a state we can actually use a, a huge state here user and set user and then we can say huge state and initialized with null okay then we can actually use huge effect for replacing this componented mount so we can use use effect hook this is how we write use effect hook this is the dependency and if you want to return something then it is something like this okay now we will subscribe to the auth state inside it okay we are getting the user data now what we will do is once we get a user auth we can actually get the token from this so we'll just put a condition that try to get the token if your user auth is not null if user auth is not null then get the token using this user auth object get token equal to await so this is how you can get the token from i mean you can get the id token there is a method get id token and let's say true and also we can print it if we are getting this or not so we got the token and we can also get the user object right set user let's say and we are setting up this user auth object i mean we can clean this up user auth we don't need the whole object we just need a email uh, user id role and all these things okay set user we don't need this code and we are we can pass the user only and this will go away now we can simply return this and we are already returning the user object instead of this dot props it will be props dot children we already have props user provider and then what we can do is export user provider so it's a named export we are doing okay so we are getting token now why i converted the class based component to a functional base because i can th i think like we can achieve all the things what we want to have with the classes using functional component using use effect use state use context all these hooks are powerful and can give us all the things we need now one of the final important thing is about the unsubscription of the auth of the firebase auth so i mean if you explore the documentation you will get it so what we need to do is we are subscribing the auth state and we can unsubscribe this is a root component so it will always be there it's not going to be mount unmounted but for the safer side we can actually call this method this is the way using which you can unsubscribe the subscription of the firebase auth okay this can be useful if you are writing this chunk of code at multiple places currently we created a user provider as a parent component of all so whatever is happening we are able to capture here using on auth state change event okay so we are providing user context so things should be good now we have selected import auth context user is null we are setting the user passing the user object i mean this is just two options either you use a context apis or what i will do is we already have introduced a redux 
so we will start using redux for that okay now the important thing which we, which i wanted to talk about is redux with hooks this is because if you are writing a class based component then you might not have explored this option that how can you use uh, redux hooks with simple context apis our application is already kind of running we can just validate this but this is important thing which we can talk about is hooks with redux right so we know we already have a store we are passing that store here let me zoom this so you can see right this we have already done now to introduce these hooks we can use the use selector use selector is nothing but uh, to get a particular state property from the Redux state. Okay, uh, we'll talk more about it. Like I want to get the counter from the Redux state. So I just use use selector hook. Okay, now the important part I think we'll get somewhere here. So this is what we used to do with the class based components. Like we used to write map state to props, map dispatch to props. Now, if I wanted to trigger a particular method, you see here, I'm using use dispatch from Redux, so we can use this. And what I will do is the login success I will trigger by passing the user object. Okay, so this is use dispatch, and then there should be a use store also is another hook. I mean, you can actually directly print the state, but we are already providing it into the store, so we don't need it. But we can think of using this, we can use use selector, which is directly here. I mean, if you wanted to dispatch a particular action to the Redux, then you can straight away write this. So dispatch, use dispatch, we can get a use dispatch from React Redux. Okay, now what I will do is dispatch and the type is login success and the data because Redux already know what all different actions we have. So every action need to have a type there, right? I mean, in the state, what we need is, okay, you are authenticated, what is your logged in true and your user object will contain only the email and all the required properties like the email we need and the phone number, the, the metadata, that's it. We will just discard all the rest of the properties while inserting that into this state object. So what we can do is we can get the email ID for now, that's it, that's it. const email equal to user auth dot email and we can set it. const email is user auth dot email and the same email we can just add here 